This question is from GATE 2023 afternoon session and it says an idealized frame supports a load as shown in the figure. The horizontal component of the force transferred from the horizontal member PQ to the vertical member RS at P is N and we need to find out this N. So basically we have these two members PQ and RS. PQ is this horizontal member and RS is the vertical member and here this load is there 10 Newton load vertically is applied at Q so we need to find what will be the horizontal force at this point P so at the intersection or at the point where these two members are meeting what is the horizontal force H now you might think that we have a vertical load here and it, the question is asking for the horizontal force so the value must be zero but there is an additional member in this structure that is this ut member which is the link here and because of this inclined link there is some force i mean there will be or there can be some force horizontally at this point p now apart from this basic information whatever is mentioned in the question here you can see that these i mean this member ut both the ends u and t are pinned and here at this point p also this point this end of the member is pinned now because of this pinned member you know that there will only be axial forces so for a member to carry any moment it has to be connected in this rigid ma manner if we put a link here if we apply a link at these intersection points then it frees that moment so m becomes zero and there are only axial forces so actually it can be compressive or tensile force so this is the basic information that is given now let's come to the solution so here we basically need to draw a free body diagram for this member pq so let's see what happens if we do that we can draw for rs also but here the known force that is there for us at this point is the force that is applied at q which is 10 newton so it will help us figure out all the other forces also if we directly draw for the member rs then we will have to first find out the reaction at this point r and which will also be 10 newton because you can directly see here 10 is applied and there is no other vertical support so here also this will be 10 newton and we can solve it using that now let's see for the member pq so we have this member pq and at this point u as we said there will only be an axial force so let's say there is a reaction r and on this point p there will be vertical reaction so let's say vertical reaction is vp and the horizontal force here is h so this is what if we draw the free body diagram this is what we have now distances are also known to us this distance between p and u is 1.2 meter and the distance between u and q is 0 0.6 meter now because this is an inclined force so let's say this angle is theta so we'll need to find out the value of this theta now the side of this triangle p u t we know the sides so from that we can write 10 theta is equal to 1 upon 1.2 now you can find out the value of theta here i will just try to use this direct relation for my problem so if we write the summation of moments about this point P and it is a static equilibrium equation and it's a static structure so the summation of moment about any point is 0 so if we write summation of moments about point P is equal to 0 so what all forces we'll have so we are writing about this point so H and this VP these both are passing through point P so they will not contribute to any moment so we have this force of 10 newton at q and we have this force r at this point u 
so we will have let's say we are taking clockwise as positive so we have 10 times 1.8 now another thing i'd like to mention here is that because we are writing this equation of static equilibrium it's a equation of static equilibrium so it does not matter which side for moment i mean which direction for moment we are treating as positive and it is different than writing hogging or sagging moment when we try to find the moments or the internal moments in a structure in a beam or column it's different than that here we are just writing the static equilibrium so we can take any direction as positive or negative so 10 times 1.8 minus so only a component of this force will give the moment at this point so r sin theta which is the vertical component and it is causing an anti-clockwise moment so r sin theta into 1.2 r cos theta will be just axial so again it will not have any moment about this point p so this equal to 0 and from that we have r sin theta equal to 18 by 1.2 or from here we can say r is equal to 18 by 1.2 sin theta now we have the value of r here but we are interested the question demands the value of this horizontal reaction h so we want to find this now for that we can simply write the summation of horizontal forces equal to zero because we just have two horizontal forces first of all this h and the component of this reaction r so h plus r cos theta is equal to 0 because there is no other force so from that i am getting h is equal to minus r cos theta so if i put the value of r from this previous equation here so i will have 18 by 1.2 sin theta that is the value of r times cos theta now sin theta upon cos theta we know we have this value of 10 theta from here so we can write it as 18 by 1.2 times 10 theta or 10 theta's value is 1 upon 1.2 so from here this 1.2 cancels out and we have the value of h which is the horizontal force as 18 newton now what about this negative sign here so negative sign indicates that this direction that i have taken here for h it is incorrect the actual direction will be opposite of that 